Yo, you guys, what is up? Robert Halverson here, and I'm finally back on YouTube. I know it's been literally a couple months, but I'm happy to be back, and as I come back, I'm gonna come with a little bit more of a different approach. I wanna come with more of a personable feel, um, so I'm really gonna be doing a lot of these YouTube videos from my phones. I might have a vlogging camera or my setup. It just, it really just depends on my day. But I'm gonna start this out by just doing it off my phone, kinda going through all my day, giving you guys some little e-com tips and tricks. Um, we'll see where today heads, but as of now, I think I'm gonna go over a little bit of influencer marketing. So if you guys see anything throughout this whole video useful, you guys like it, um, please like and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy the video. Also, do not forget to follow me on Instagram, at Business with Bobby. Uh, that'll be greatly appreciated. You guys can always DM me, ask me questions there if you have any regarding the video or just anything in general. Alright, so the first topic as I walk out of my apartment here, um, I think I'm going to go over just really influencer marketing, when it's a good time to post, um, what your post should look like, how you should reach out to influencers, um, pretty much just everything you need to know about influencer marketing because honestly it's the easiest way to get your store going. I'm going to start this video off by saying really the right time that you should be posting at. Um, it's literally right around 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because if you think about it, that's really the time when the country's getting up. I'll try to make that make a little bit more sense. So 7 a.m. on the East Coast is the prime time for you to market anybody on the East Coast. But obviously how the times work in the country is it starts over there and it gets later as it goes to the West. But so 7 a.m. on the East Coast, they're drinking their copies, they're waking up, they're eating breakfast. It's the prime time for you to try to reach out for them to buy your product. And then obviously as the time goes on down towards the West Coast, they're gonna be waking up, seeing the product. So I would start by targeting on the East Coast, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm telling you, it's a prime time try. I want you guys to comment down below how it's working for you as well. Um, so the next thing that I think I'm going to go into is how you find the right influencer. Because a lot of people tell you just um, find the big pages. But yeah, you're gonna find big pages, but sometimes those super popular ones are super saturated. Um, and the problem with that obviously is all their followers have already been marketed to by so many different products that they don't even swipe up, they don't click the link, um, they don't really act on what you're telling them to do. So a lot of times you can find kind of smaller pages, maybe one to two million. Um, even I run ads on pages from like 500,000 and up. I know that may sound outrageous compared to a lot of people's videos, but obviously it works for me. Um, I know that works for a lot of people that I help out, a lot of people that I know. Um, Really you wanna find those pages that aren't saturated because there's so many saturated pages on IG. So you wanna find something that is relatable to your products that you're selling. And then you obviously wanna find um, an Instagram where they're constantly posting. Because say they post your product on their story early in the day. By the end of the day, that's gonna be at the very end of like, their followers, I guess, stories of who pops up for them. But if they're posting throughout the day, it's gonna constantly be on top for a story for them to watch. So that's one thing you wanna to look, want to look at. You wanna look at how active their followers are. Obviously you do that through Flank, Social Blade. Um, you could even ask them for their engagement. If they don't send you your engagement, don't send them money. That's my theory. Um, but there's so many different things that can go into influencer marketing and I'll get into that right now. Obviously I'll go into more detail. One tip for you as you're searching for an influencer is don't always go with the biggest page. Maybe get with like the third biggest, the fourth biggest, um, the ones that aren't as trending, but they still have a huge follower engagement because most likely their followers are not saturated. So that's my one um, finding an influencer tip for you. Obviously I'm gonna get into more influencer tips throughout this video, but right now I'm gonna finish this drive. I'm about to go pick up a smoothie and then we'll get back to it. Guys, I just got my smoothie, but the next thing I want to go into is creating the perfect influencer ad. Okay, so creating a perfect influencer ad can mean different things to a lot of different people. To me, a perfect influencer ad is when it's simple, but yet still elegant and appealing to people. Um, what I like to do is if I'm just testing out products and 
I don't have my own product photos um, or maybe the product photos aren't that good, what I do is I like to go in and edit the product photos straight off of AliExpress. And what I do is if I'm doing like a swipe up ad, I'll create a video, put some background music, um, pretty much just make it to where it's obviously edited, but it doesn't just look like it's some products from China. Um, you make it look like you've actually put a little bit of time into the ad. People notice that stuff. Um, they're gonna swipe right through the ads that just say the normal swipe up, oh, free plus shipping with a picture of the product. You wanna change it, make sure it has a background, um, maybe music, even if it's just a picture, you can put music behind a picture because as they click right on that post, it's obviously gonna have a noise behind it and it's gonna make them get their attention. Um, they'll get alert, they'll start to pay attention more to the post and then obviously that's where you can get into what the post says or what the swipe up ad says. Um, obviously you wanna get into a little bit of psychology with it, you wanna try to make them seem like they're getting a great deal even if they're not. Um, I don't know how you guys market or if you guys do free plus ships, 30% um, off, obviously there's so many different tactics that you can do as far as that goes. But the point of this is you really just wanna make sure that your ad is appealing. Keep it simple, you don't want it too much with a bunch of edits and that just makes it look sketch. You wanna look credible, you wanna look legit, but you also want your ad to stand out to people because it's those first literally seconds, like milliseconds, you have to catch their attention. So make sure that your ad is appealing, it has a call to action, and if it's a swipe up ad, you wanna make sure that it obviously says swipe up. You wanna make sure that they understand what they have to do to get to your product. Um, that's really it as far as that goes. It's super simple, you can go on Canva, Photoshop, there's so many different, I think there's even apps in the iPhone where you can create swipe up ads or just Instagram posts. Um, also, make sure that it fits to the size. I see a lot of swipe up ads just going through Instagram or a lot of posts and they're random, random dimensions. You wanna make sure that the dimensions are great, um, that they fit perfectly. You can just go on Google and type in Instagram's um, story ads or um, Instagram post dimensions and just copy that. You can go through Canva, you can edit it on Photoshop, like I said. So that is my tip with creating the perfect influencer ad. Yep, and probably the most important step when it comes to influencer marketing, the landing page. Your landing page needs to be legit. It needs to be better than everyone else's. It cannot look sketchy. You need to create scarcity. How you can create scarcity is using apps like Herify, have a countdown ca timer. Um, you can have your stock numbers going down as they're on there. Um, you can say people are buying this product in different locations. Um, I know that you can use Sales Pop. There's so many different apps that you can use through the Shopify App Store. Utilize those. You wanna make sure that your description is good. What I like to do in my descriptions is I either like to create like a paragraph of telling people why they need or they should buy this product or how it's relevant to them. Obviously depending on the audience that I'm marketing it to. Or what I do is I don't keep the same descriptions from AliExpress, but what I do is I just, I go in, obviously I reword it so it doesn't look just like every other AliExpress di um, description. Um, I do bullet points. What I like to do is, this is a cool little template I do. I do like one little sentence on top and with that sentence, just kinda, like I said, telling them why they should have the product or how it's relevant to them. Um, and then what I like to do is have like maybe four or five different bullet points of what's important about the product. Maybe like a 100% polyester cotton blend or just something in that sense. And obviously you get that information from the AliExpress description. Um, but I would delete that totally. You wanna have the security badges. So like the Norton Secure, that kind of stuff. Cause that makes them feel secure and they understand that you're a legit business. You're not gonna scam them. You're not gonna take their money. Um, Another thing that you wanna make sure you have is a con currency converter. I know a lot of people that run ads and all they have is US. Like, there's people all over the world that are gonna buy your product. And if you wanna market to all over the world, especially with influencer ads, you can't target a certain location. Um, you can try, but I mean, people follow these pages from literally everywhere you can think of, like Czechoslovakia or however you pronounce that. Like, there's so many countries out there. Um, make sure you have a currency converter. Um, another thing that you should do is set up Apple Pay and PayPal. I get so many orders through PayPal. Um, a lot of people don't like to have it because I know there are a lot of problems through PayPal and they may hold your money or whatever happens, but honestly that doesn't happen if you do everything right. So make sure that you have the different payment options on there. Make sure that your landing page is legit and appealing to people 
and I promise you that this will all help you out. What I want you guys to do is, like I said, let me know in my comments below, or you can go follow me at Business with Bobby uh, on my Instagram. Um, DM me, comment on my pictures, like my pictures, and just let me know what you guys think of my videos. Um, what I also want you guys to do is comment down below what video I should do next. I know this video was kind of short, I didn't go into much detail, but I'm just kind of getting back into the whole YouTube game again, trust me. Uh, I plan on posting probably two to three times a week, so just let me know what you guys want me to post and what you guys want to see, and I'll get it done. Thank you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, love you all. Follow me on Instagram at Business with Bobby.